Yes. I'm going to tell you where the woman and the boy are. Be at the Wolf's Bridge in the Belgrade Forest in half an hour. I was very close. I almost felt confident, but we failed again. We let those men slip through our fingers once again. The police searched the surrounding area all night, but they somehow managed to lose track of them. So you didn't get the job done. Again. I have been saying it from the start, but nobody listens to me. All you seem to be able to do is fool people. I understand you're angry, sir, but what I really don't understand but is... But wait, Gerald. You know Mason isn't trying to fool anyone. You're being very unfair. Aaron, it's okay. Mr. Gerald is right. I've been a failure from the start. He has the right to say what he wants. Why is that? Layla was the one who left the house without telling anyone where she was going. Are you blaming Mason for that? I don't get it. I admit a lot of things may have gone wrong, but at least now we have a witness that can help us. What witness? A woman. She was found in the caves with her hands and feet bound, and she had been left for dead. It was probably the kidnappers who did it to her. Okay, then. So you're saying they kidnapped this woman, too? We aren't sure yet. She's being treated at the hospital. They'll interrogate her later. I'll be going to the police station. No, you won't. If we find out firsthand... I'll find out firsthand, and not you. You don't need to worry about it anymore. I'm firing you. Yeah, you can't deny you've made a mess of everything as it is. Thanks to you, my wife is missing as well. Thanks to me? Yes, exactly. Sir, haven't I been telling you not to do anything without informing me first? My child is the one who's been kidnapped. My wife is currently missing as well. And you're trying to give me orders and tell me what to Gerald, do. Gerald, that's you're not it. Wrong Please, there. try to calm down. And if you do this thing on your own, you'll make more the mistakes. The only mistake we made was at the start when we decided to hire an amateur like you instead of going to the police and having well, him solve this. you shouldn't have hired this. me then. I never asked you to. I told you to go to the police. I never promised you a miracle. I never said I'd find the boy in only two days. Didn't you never. hear a word I said, idiot? Do you not get it? It's over. You're fired. So stop yelling at me in Don't my own home. Don't talk to me that Mason, way. Get the please. hell out of my house right I'm now. I'm out of here. Get the hell out of here, stupid lawyer. I'm sorry, Aaron. I really tried. I just can't get through to these hey, idiots listen anymore. Here. Mason, please just hang on just a Aaron, minute. I'm just too angry at the moment. Mason, what are you doing? Are you just going to walk away from this? Aaron, you heard what he said. I'm not walking away from this. I was just fired. Want me to force them to hire me back? Listen, I could easily ignore a few harsh words here and there, but there's a limit to everything, including my patience. If he doesn't trust me, then he knows best what to do. Okay. Yes, you're right. I need to get home and pull myself together. I haven't changed since last night. Just look at me. Yes, okay. I'll go and get my stuff, and we'll go together. Aaron, you're surely not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, I am going. I don't think you should go. Come here, we need to talk. We'll talk at the office, Gerald. No, we'll talk right now. Mason, I'll finish up here and meet you soon. Miss Aaron! Huh? Okay. Come on. <sighs> what did you just do? What the hell was that? I don't want that incompetent man around here anymore. That man you call incompetent has been doing his very best to help us, and you know it's true. You only did it because you're jealous of him, isn't that right? Because you're jealous of him. I'm curious to see how on earth you're going to explain all of this to Layla. My personal family business has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with you, Erin, okay? And I forbid you from seeing that man ever again. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, really? Or you'll do what, Gerald? Will you fire me or murder me? Which one is it now? What the hell are you talking about? Erin, do you even realize what you're saying right now? I can't believe this. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Huh? 
Are you trying to drive me insane? You know how much I love you. You know very well how much I miss you. Stop it. You don't even know where your wife is or her condition. And you dare talk about this? Poor Layla. I was so jealous of her once. I would have given anything to be in her shoes. But looking at it now, I'm going to thank God I'm not your damn wife. Praise the Lord I am not your wife. Don't you dare. Kenny, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to ask her right now. Mom, don't be silly. What will I'm we say? I'm going to ask Kenny. Miss Erin? What is it? Miss Erin, if you have a moment to talk, I'd like to ask you something. What is it, Alma? I'm in a hurry. Ask me whatever it is and fast. As you know, William has been missing for a few days. <laughs>